Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last posted because I kind of got caught up with life. Recently, I've been getting more overwhelmed with my PhD and side projects, and the reality of PhD life has been hitting me hard as I turned 27 this year. As much as I'm passionate about research, it is hard to not get affected by the not so good aspects of doing a PhD, which are a lot of things. For instance, my fellow peers are now earning twice three times or even four times that of my peanut salary and because of financial considerations I unfortunately have decided to move back to my parents place after my rental contract ends in May. Yeah, it kinda sucks to be moving back home and losing my personal space, especially when I don't exactly get along that well with my parents. And you know, sometimes I really hope that I'm earning more so that I can financially afford to be who I am. Also, one of my best friends got married recently and she kinda hired me to shoot a video for her wedding. I was working on that big project for the past 3 weeks and it's finally done. I'm really happy that she got to marry the love of her life but it also made me wonder when it would be my turn or would it ever be my turn. The long hours spent in the lab drains all the energy out of me and being a hardcore introvert, I have no desire to socialise or meet new people after work. Guess I'll just have to settle for an unmarried life and keep several pet cats for company. That is, if I can even afford to. It is hard to not compare my life with my peers and doing a PhD just makes me feel stuck at a certain life stage while everyone is just moving forward without me. This week is an extremely long week for me as I had a large animal cohort due for harvesting. The whole process took me 3 full days. For the first 2 days, I was mainly doing perfusion, collecting blood and tissues from the animals. The most time consuming task was harvesting and dissecting the aorta. I swear I almost went blind after staring into the microscope for hours. And the most painful part of research is that the input outweighs the output by multiple times. I can spend hours working on something that gives me an undesirable result and I don't even know what to do with it. And this happens on a regular basis. And after a while, I literally get immune to failures, though this still demoralizes me from time to time. And I question myself, why did I even sign up for a PhD in the first place? As I am almost 2 years into my PhD, I came to realise that not all students deserve to do a PhD and not everyone who deserves a PhD can actually afford to do one. 
I hate to admit that research is unfair and because of all the downsides of a PhD, not everyone has the privilege to do one. Someone asked me before, if money wasn't taken into consideration, what would you work as for a job? And my answer is research. Although doing a PhD made me feel stuck and demotivated in many ways, my eyes still light up on the rare occasion that I discover something new. I'm privileged that I can afford to do a PhD and while this lasts, I will try my best to enjoy this remaining painful journey. Thank you all for being part of this journey with me and I hope you stick around for more.